What's going on guys? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Today we have another episode of firearms that no one can afford. About a month ago, I did a video on this bad boy, the Staccato P 2011 pistol. This one belongs to my buddy Whisper Tactical. Go check out his YouTube channel. I still haven't sent this back. I'm buying as much time with it as I possibly can. But after that video, I now identify as a Staccato guy. This thing was so freaking nice. So, I decided the only thing better than one staccato pistol is two staccato pistols. Limited edition, I might add. So what we've got here is the Dawson Precision Limited Edition Staccato P and the Dawson Precision Limited Edition Staccato C2. Each of these guns are north of $4,000 in the configurations we have here. One's full size, one's compact, and they're both set up exactly the same. Loophole Delta Point Pros, Surefire Lights, and that staccato brake that apparently reduces recoil by 40%. These are literally like my staccato dream guns, so let's shoot them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is shoot the regular staccato P that I've already shot so that I can feel a difference when I switch to the limited edition versions with the muzzle brakes and stuff like that. just as nice as I remember it. And the Dawson Precision Staccato P. The only complaint that I had with the other one was the grip texture. I didn't like how coarse it was. This one actually has the sandpaper grip, which I think I like more. Let's shoot it. I love that. Let's see if we feel a difference. Oh my goodness. Big difference. Well, I didn't think a nine millimeter pistol could feel much nicer than a regular staccato. That is absolutely mind blowing. Definitely a noticeable difference. Another thing I noticed when I was loading the pistol is the recoil spring on this one is like half the weight. I think it's seven or eight pounds. It feels like two. I mean, you could literally pull that back with your pinky finger. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and grabbed one more magazine. We have to shoot this thing again before I get out the C2. God, it feels so good. <laughs> oh, there's a clip. <laughs> oh, man. That definitely does not feel like a nine millimeter. And by the way guys, today we're doing the biggest giveaway by far that we have ever done on this channel, thanks to Vanish Holsters, who has sponsored today's video. Now this is a different concept than any other holster I've tried. It is a waist strap design that allows you to carry a firearm no matter what kind of clothes you're wearing. Sweatpants, summer clothes, it doesn't matter because you do not need a gun belt to use this holster. It just wraps around your waist. I've been using this thing all day and I will say it is very comfortable. The materials they use are designed to enhance all day carry. It's also incredibly versatile. 99% of modern firearms will fit in this holster. They use a magnetic strap that wraps around the back of the firearm so you don't have to unbutton anything or worry about it getting stuck. You just yank up and you can still draw the firearm quickly. There's also two pouches on the side where you can put your spare magazines. And like I said, we've also partnered up with Vanish for a huge giveaway to give you all a chance to win this bag. All you've got to do to be entered in for a chance to win this Jeep Gladiator and $25,000 worth of gold is click the link in the description box below and buy one of these holsters. And if you use our link, Vanish is hooking you up with 40 bucks off your order. So thank you to Vanish Holsters. Go check them out. Again, the link is in the description box below. I would absolutely love it if one of our viewers actually won that Jeep. And the Staccato C2. Like I said, this is a little smaller than the other one. It also has that coarse grip texture that I don't like quite as much. 
It still feels great, don't get me wrong. I just like the finer grip better. The slide feels just as good. <laughs> Let's shoot it. Slightly different recoil impulse. I don't want to say it has more recoil. It's just a little sharper, but it's still staying damn near flat when I shoot it. Man. If you don't have $4,000 to spend on a handgun, don't even try one of these because it's just gonna piss you off. Let's see how fast we can do a mag dump on the rubber dummy. <laughs> that might be the fastest I've ever shot a nine millimeter pistol. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what all they've done to these Dawson Precision models. I'll look it up here in a minute, but there are a couple things that I noticed right off the bat. Number one, the trigger does feel improved. It's probably three and a half pounds, maybe four at the most, whereas the other one feels closer to five. Um, the recoil spring is also substantially lighter. Like I said, you can rack the slides on these pistols like a baby could do it. It literally feels like there's no spring in there. So I'm not sure how, but they have that dialed in to where the gun is still reliable, but doesn't need a ton of spring pressure. And then of course, the compensator on the end, which is really my favorite part about the whole thing, because it just completely gets rid of most, if not all of the recoil. All right, guys, now that we've shot both of these guns, let's go ahead and talk about them a little bit. Again, the Staccato P is the full-size model and the C2 is the compact. They both feel perfect, to be honest. It's hard to say I prefer one over the other. This one's softer shooting. I shoot this one better for whatever reason. Obviously, one advantage to a full-size gun is it does take bigger magazines, but you can actually use the full-size mags and the smaller pistols. The recoil springs in both of these guns are shockingly light. I think they are eight pounds and they just feel so good, work flawless, no resistance, and you can do one-handed slide manipulations just using inertia, which is kind of dope. Both of these are Dawson Precision limited edition Staccato 2011s and they're set up basically the same. Loophole Delta Point Pros on both, Surefire Lights on both, and of course that compensator on both, which works very well, I might add. The triggers break at 3.5 pounds, just absolutely perfect in every way. If I could fine tune a trigger to be exactly what I wanted, this is how it would be. There's no complaints on the trigger. The grip texture is really the only difference apart from the size on these two guns. The C2 has the more coarse grip texture, whereas the Staccato P has the finer sandpaper grip. I like the look of the grip on the C2 better, but I think this one feels better, in my opinion. So I guess it depends if looks are more important or if actually getting the best performance out of the gun is more important. Obviously, I think looking cool is what's most important. Just joking. The price on both of these guns is right around $4,000 each in this configuration. So if you're a brokey, do not go staccato shopping. These are for ballers only. There are higher end, more expensive competition 2011s out there, but for self-defense, combat, duty use, the staccato would probably be at the top of my list if I went hammer fired. I would probably still go striker fired just for reliability, but these are as reliable as 2011s get and they still have that Gucci gun feel. Just like I said in the last video, I have really no complaints with these pistols besides the price. They are astronomically expensive. Three to four grand for a nine millimeter pistol is just way more than most people are gonna wanna spend. But it's kind of like a good old boys club. If you know, you know, and if you can afford one, you'll probably buy one because once I tried the Staccato, I feel like I understood the hype. They just feel so good. Every button, every switch on these guns is just dialed in perfectly. The magazine release, the safety, the slide release, even the thumb safety, which I'm never a fan of. I don't mind it on the Staccatos. So they really have finely tuned these guns. And once you shoot it, you kind of understand why they are three to $4,000.
Let's try the Texas Star. Staccato P for this one. Ah. Took six shots instead of five, but I'll take it. So funny enough, I like the feeling of the Staccato P better. The size of the gun, the grip texture, the recoil impulse, it's noticeably softer shooting. It just feels better. But for whatever reason, I think I actually shoot the C2 better. Whatever that means. <laughs> you knew it was coming. Let's dual wield these bad boys. This one holds 20, this one holds 16. I put 10 in both of them. I'm not gonna lie, dual wielding two $4,000 pistols feels pretty nice. All right guys, there you have it. I did not think it was possible for this staccato to get any nicer, but somehow Dawson Precision has managed to pull it off. I'll go ahead and say these are definitely the nicest two handguns I have personally ever fired in my life, at least up to this point. So that should tell you all you need to know on how I feel about these guns. They are phenomenal in every way, and I really have no complaints other than the price tag. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.